warts. Oh my gosh, my nemesis. As a pediatric dermatologist, I see warts all day, every day. My favorite treatment of all time for warts is a prescription topical known as wart peel. It's made by a pharmacy in Iowa, shipped to the patient's home, works like magic, works 98% of the time, doesn't hurt, works fast, typically three to, four, three to four weeks and you've got your warts gone. It's a wonderful treatment for kids with warts and it's useful for adults too. The only patients that cannot use wart peel are those who are pregnant or breastfeeding. There are some circumstances where maybe I use candida antigen injection to treat warts. The nice thing about candida antigen is that you only have to treat one. So for patients who have 30 or 40 warts, and so a topical medicine is just not going to fly, and freezing is just not very practical, candida can be a really nice approach. You only have to treat one lesion at each visit with 0.3 milliliters of candida antigen. It's a series of treatments, so we treat every three to four weeks until they're gone. Typically takes three to five treatments to have them all gone. And so that's nice for families that know that they're just not going to do a good job with applying things at home and coming into the office every three to four weeks for a treatment is a better option for them. One of the treatments for warts that I find most interesting and most fascinating is considering the use of the HPV vaccine. There have been small studies looking at it given intramuscularly, like normal, as a vaccine, and showing improvement in cutaneous warts. And there are even a couple studies using it intralesionally to treat warts. So I rarely, as a pediatric dermatologist, freeze warts. The only circumstance where I freeze warts is if kids have one or two, they're small, and I think there's a reasonable chance that the freezing is going to work. Freezing overall has a low success rate. Efficacy rates vary from 30 to 50%. It hurts, you have to do it repetitively over and over again. I try to limit the crying in my office. And so I tend to veer away from freezing unless it's just one or two small warts in an area that's amenable to freezing and the kiddo seems like they can tolerate it.